Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Now today I've got some news regarding the upcoming 8th generation CPUs by Intel. Now if you don't know I was talking about the 8700K all the way back on the 2nd of June 2017. I'll put the link to that video in the description. You guys can go watch it for some context. And it seems that I was right about the 8700K being 6 cores and 12 threads. But with that out of the way we have some leaked benchmarks here today that we're going to talk about. And, you know, like I said, it goes without saying, you know, wait for proper reviews. But since these are reliable leaks and from a live stream, it's safe to say this is pretty much expected results and not too surprising. So in order to understand whether these results are good or not, we have to understand and ascertain what clock speed the processor was running at. Now, like I said earlier, the leaked benchmarks come from a Facebook live stream. And even though the live stream was, you know, at least kind of a cool thing to watch, it was super pixelated and they were speaking a different kind of foreign language. They weren't speaking English. So I couldn't quite understand everything going on in the video, but I managed to score a decent screenshot, actually a couple of decent screenshots from the stream. And it shows that the 8700K was running at 3.7 gigahertz on CPU Z and this was whilst it was running the single core Cinebench run. Now whether this is correct or not I'm not entirely sure because it could be a bug with CPU Z since it's a new processor. On top of that task manager made it even more confusing for me because it actually showed a boost clock of 4.37 gigahertz on task manager. So here we have two different programs giving two different uh, frequencies and clock speeds. And on top of that, because it's a new processor, I don't know which program to trust. Now, personally, I trust CPU Z much more than Windows 10's much more buggy task manager, just purely because when Ryzen came out, CPU Z was showing proper kind of frequencies or at least much closer frequencies than Windows 10's task manager. Now, I don't know with Intel, it might be a little bit different. So I'm not quite too sure. So just take that into account while we're looking at these results. I'm gonna look at them and talk about them in the context of it running at 3.7 gigahertz, but I could be very well wrong. Now, speaking of Cinebench, we have that Cinebench run and it shows the 8700K at 3.7 gigahertz. That's what I think it's running at according to CPU Z, a 196 single core score and a 1,230 multi-thread score. Now, if you compare the single core scores to my 7700K at 4.5 gigahertz, I got exactly 196 on my single core score at that frequency. And this score is very close to any other 7700K in Cinebench. So the 8700K with an 18% clock speed reduction has a very similar single core score to the 7700K. Now, if it is running at that 3.7 gigahertz um, frequency, the 8700K, then this could show a 10% or more IPC improvement single core wise versus the 7700K. Now, as for the multi-thread Cinebench score, we see a 25% performance increase over the 7700K which is kind of to be expected since it has 25% more cores. Again, we don't know the frequency at which the CPU was running during the multi-threaded test, but if it were running at 4.3 gigahertz on an all-core boost, it would be a pretty disappointing result because it would just be the same as Skylake's IPC or KB Lake's IPC. However, if it's also running at 3.7 gigahertz like the single core test, that's actually a very, very good score considering it has an 18% clock disadvantage and it's also got 25% more cores. So yeah, it just depends on how you see it. Next up is a CPU Z benchmark, which shows a 2,348 score for the single core, which is very similar to the 7700K, which has a score of 2,301. And in addition, in CPU Z, the 8700K showed a multi-thread score of 13,680, which is a 36% performance increase over the 7700K, which is a much, much better result. Now, I really hate speculating and I really just want some, you know, hard concrete results, but if it was really running at 3.7 gigahertz, this means we may see around a 10% IPC improvement from Coffee Lake to Kaby Lake or Kaby Lake to Coffee Lake, 
once the 8700K is overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. Now, if true, then finally Intel may be giving us the performance increases that we've been waiting for. Furthermore, it just shows how good competition really is and why you should be 100% pro-consumer and always want a competitor in the technology industry because it just means that as a consumer, you're gonna get faster and faster products and it doesn't really mean, you know, whether you buy it from Intel, AMD, it doesn't really matter at that point. We're just getting faster technology and that's what we should really be caring about rather than picking sides. Now, if CPU Z was wrong and the 8700K was actually running at that 4.37 gigahertz as task manager stated or even higher possibly, then all these results just point to another Skylake refresh with six cores instead of four, which is definitely not worth talking about and it's pretty much disappointing. Now. I don't know, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments section below. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for more news. This has been Voltec and thanks for watching.